Hi, welcome to Realize Live and to this virtual session on Team Center Integration to Solid Edge. Myself, Sangamesh Andur, and I am part of Global Technical Enablement Team. And here is the agenda for today, where we are going to focus on Solid Edge integration to Team Center uh, with respect to data reuse, that is how the integration with Team Center helps in finding the documents and reusing those documents. Secondly, we will see how our solution supports in collaboration and data extraction. Thirdly, we will see how our solution supports for standardization. And finally, we will see our solution for creating new concepts with team center integration. Let's see the solution for the data reuse. Data reuse is one of the key challenges every industry is facing today. We keep enhancing our solution to address this challenge. For many years, we enhanced the ways to improve finding the right information based on attributes and documented properties like various queries-based search and search based on the classified data attributes, which really enhanced the data reuse. But no, in addition, you can do shape-based search within Solid Edge. This shape search is based on Siemens Geolus search engine. The matching documents will be shown, which again can be filtered based on properties, size and similarities. Again, you have the option to compare the documents in Active Workspace window. The results will be shown in hosted Active Workspace or GeoLess web client and documents can be used in Solid Edge session by drag and drop. This not only helps in finding and reusing the documents but also avoids creating duplicated parts in the database. Let's take a look. Safe search has been added in Team Center Ribbon Group, which once initiated searches the database based on active documents and shows the matching results in hosted active workspace. You have the option to filter based on properties, shape similarities, and size. Once you find the required component, you can drag and drop the document into an assembly so that you are mainly reusing the existing component into your assembly. Another use case where it helps is you can search against a local unmanaged part even in managed mode. This will help you in case you want to bring in a supplier part, but before that you may want to make sure there is no similar part exists in the database. The third use case where it helps is even though you have opened an assembly, you have selected a component from the display and can search for a similar part in the database. You have the option to display the results in Active Workspace or GeoLess web page. In this case, it is set to show the results in GeoLess web page. So once you perform the safe search, the results with similar parts are displayed in GeoLess web page. Let's see the solution for collaboration and data exchange. Many times you want to translate Solid Edge documents in different neutral formats like STEP, IGS, Parasolid, DXF or DWG or PDF and wants them to directly store in Team Center database, maybe under the same item revision. 
This save as translated future with save translation to team center helps to store the translated output in team center. You also have the option to automate this process of translation with output file naming. This really helps automating the workflow where you would you would want to translate and manage the outputs in team center with manual or automatic process and auto naming. Let's take a look at how this works in solid edge. Before performing the save as translated operation, you need to switch on save translation to team center option. Then once you initiate the save as translated command, you can define the output type and provide a name to dataset. Many different export formats are available and again these can be configured as per your requirement. So once you are able to manage the outputs in Team Center, at the end of the day or at some particular moment of time, you'd also like to export this information outside of Team Center and share it to downstream users or suppliers. Manual process will be a time consuming exercise for this and error prone. You can use the automated ways of extraction using extract translated files. This process is easy and quick. Let's take a look on this. You can select the components either from display or from assembly structure against which the extraction process should be run in the database. You have the option to select and include all components of an assembly. You also have the option to filter and select the documents based on type and also define the required output formats. Once you perform the operation, the automation will look for all the translated files and requested file formats against the selected components in the database and it copies it to the provided path on the local machine. Let's see support for standardization. Standardization is an ongoing process. You would like to adhere and upgrade to new standards as you progress. Many a times you want to quickly adapt to new standards and this is also required for your legacy data. You would like to reuse existing documents and save it into a new item type based on new standards. This tool will allow us to perform the same action and in the process you also have the option to either include or exclude the drawings. These tools will help to reduce the number of steps with the data reuse and also quickly adapting to new standards. Let's take a look on how this works. You can open an existing part by searching with different criteria like search based on item ID, item name or item description. Once the document is loaded in this, it also has a drawing file attached to it. You can turn on exclude draft and perform the save as operation using save as new item type. Here you have the option to define new item type and continue by performing the action. 
it creates a new copy of the same document with the different item type and if you observe it did not copy the drawing file associated with the old document. Let's see how our solution supports in building new concepts. It's always a complex thing when you want to build new concepts either starting from scratch or reuse existing data or by modifying existing data from team center. It gets more complex when customer has the PDM environment. This new concept workspace addresses this challenge. As the name suggests, it's a workspace or a volume where a designer can explore new ideas without committing files to Team Center. You can create new assemblies or parts and develop new concepts within the workspace or you can create new concepts by modifying the existing documents from Team Center by returning the documents to your workspace. All new documents and retried documents remain within the concept workspace until those gets published back to Team Center. When designers create multiple concepts and makes a decision to go with one concept, then they can publish the concept to Team Center and rejected concept can be deleted. Here is a workflow for easy understanding of the process. The first step obviously would be to create a new concept and activate the concept to start working on that concept. The next step would be to populate the workspace by creating new documents or retrying existing documents from Team Center. Then Work on the detailed design of the concept where you have the options to reuse the design across multiple concepts by push and pull workflow. At any point, designers can also validate the design by setting up actions to make sure that their concepts can be published later to Team Center successfully. Designers can also reserve the documents by checking out the design. There are options to 3D compare between concept version of the component to production version of the component which is there on the team center and also have the option to replace the concept version with the production version component etc. Let's take a look at the concept workspace using this popsicle mold from the Finamac pop circle machine. Here we will create two concepts of this subassembly. Solid Edge allows you in creating multiple concepts by downloading the server data to your concept workspace and then you can start working on the concept by deleting the components modifying the components and adding new components. In this case, we are modifying the design by removing some holes, chamfers and adding some slots into the design. As concept 1 is active in this case, all your new and modified Components are saved in this concept workspace. However, there might be a situation where some designs are identical between the concepts. In this scenario, you can create a new concept or select an existing concept and push the common data 
to another concept. Here we are pushing the whole subassembly to another concept by creating a new concept workspace. Once you share the identical design to another concept, you can continue to work on unique design in the active concept by creating a new design or by adding new components. Let's save the concept one with double plate support mechanism and move on to the second concept. You can browse to another concept and open the design data from the concept workspace. Concept 2 was created when we pushed the common design data from concept 1. Now concept 2 workspace becomes active wherein we can edit the same assembly and modify accordingly. In this case, we will add the single plate support to hold the ice popsicle molds. All modified and new design gets saved to current workspace which is concept 2 in this case. Once the concept is finalized, you can now publish and update the design back to Team Center. Most importantly, you can compare the 3D model of concept version component to production version component. You can see the areas where some volume is added or removed. Before you publish, you can set the actions for the new and modified components. You can validate the data using Team Center validation options. Once everything is defined, you can publish the data back to Team Center. Here, we are publishing the data from Concept 2 to Team Center by setting revise as an action for modified components. Now, revision B of mold assembly is created and we can open the assembly from Team Center.